How's it going everyone? John here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the image slideshow inside of Streamlabs OBS. Now if you are new to the channel, be sure to go ahead and take a look at the other content. And if you're liking that content, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified every time I upload a video. So what we're going to do is we're going to create the slideshow. So go ahead and create your scene. Go over to sources, click on the plus. Go over to image slideshow and you're going to see the different types of formats that are going to be supported. Go ahead and click on add source, give it a name, click add new source and now you're in the properties. So you have your display right here, your little preview window and you have different options. So your visibility behavior, always play even when not visible, stop when not visible, restart when visible and then pause when not visible, unpause when visible. So basically the first one means it's always going to be playing. Even when it's not visible, even when you're on a different scene, it's always going to be playing. When you have the stop when not visible, restart when visible, basically it will stop when you go to a different scene, but then it's going to restart whenever you go back to that scene. And then if you do the pause when not visible, unpause when visible, if you are on a certain image and then you go to a different scene, and then you come back to the scene that has the slideshow on it, it's going to continue where it left off. So it's not going to restart it, it's just going to continue where it left off. Now for your slide mode, you have automatic as well as manual. Now automatic is fine. Manual, if you have the hotkey already set up inside of Streamlabs OBS for a button on your keyboard, that's completely fine. You can go ahead and use that if you want to, but automatic works just as well. For your transitions, you have cut, fade, swipe, and slide. And then for the time between slides, you have it to where it's already set for 8,000, but maybe that's a little too long and you want it to be a little bit faster. Then you're going to bring the number down to like say 1,000 or 500. The transition speed, you can also adjust that as well. Now, if you're wanting the images to be in a continuous motion, even after they go through, you know, showing, say, you have only five photos, you know, they go and show all five photos, the loop will basically put it in a continuous mode. So it's going to keep going through all those photos over and over and over. Now, for the hide when the slideshow is done, if you only want it to be a one time run and you go through those five photos and then it stops, that's going to be the slideshow or hide the slideshow when it's done. And then randomized playback is exactly what it is. So for your aspect ratio, you have it where it's already set for automatic, which is completely fine. But if you know that it needs to be like 16 by 9, or if you want it to be the size of your canvas, and you go ahead and set that up too. Now I'm going to leave it as automatic because I want to show you guys a trick. But before I get to that trick, I got to also show you how to add in some images. So if you click on the plus here where it says image files, you have it where you can add files or you can add the directory. So adding the files means you can add individual files, but adding a directory means you can add the entire folder that the files are in. So just for adding files, I'm just going to select this one and I'm going to select this one. Now I'm also going to adjust my time between the slides because 8,000 is way too long. So we're going to do 500. And this is why I wanted to leave it as automatic. So to get everything to be proportioned, you can do a simple right click on the canvas, go down to transform, fit to screen. And there you go. So to get back to the properties, right click on the source, go to properties, and then it brings you back here. So what I'm going to show you here is the different types of options you have that I was already explaining very quickly. So this will be your cut. Very quick, ready to go. This is fade. This is going to be your swipe. Not too bad. And then this is your slide. Now swipe and slide are very similar to each other. Very similar to each other. So we're going to go back to fade because I like fade. Now if I wanted to add in a directory, I could do that too. So I'm going to go to my pictures and I'm just going to add in this random one here. So it's a random folder. And what's going to happen now is it's going to start bringing in those. So you can start seeing it transition. So you can have a mixture of the two if you'd like, 
But let's say you want to have it where the directory goes first. So I hold left click and you can see that now it's got this little box. You can click and drag it up and now those go first. And then we move into the other ones that I added. So you can kind of move them around a little bit. The only thing is if one photo is a little off a little bit, you can't really change any of its actual settings in here. Like you can't go in there and individually resize an individual photo because what it does is it changes the entire slideshow's proportions. So do keep that in mind that individual ones cannot be touched. So even if I only had one photo, I mean, that's fine, but then you might as well just use regular images versus a slideshow because there you'll be able to, to change all that stuff. But this is this is how you'll be able to to get your slideshow and everything put together. And if I wanted to hide it when everything's finished, I could do that too. So it's going to go through all of them and then it should be done after the last photo. See, now it's completely blacked out. So that just kind of gives you guys an idea of what you can actually do for your slideshows and being able to also resize them. You can do that too. So if I go back to properties, I'll put loop back on and let me throw these guys at the bottom. Cause what you can do is you can click and drag and move them over here. So left click drag and you can move it around and resize it and everything like that. If you wanted to kind of have it somewhere else on the screen and that way it's not like super, large or anything like that but that's that's pretty much it guys that's how you get your image slideshow all set up and ready to go and if you want to hide it you can always hide it too just by clicking on the little eyeball there to hide it away but yeah like i said that's how you get your image slideshow working if you guys have any questions feel free to go ahead and ask me in the comments and i will see you guys in a future video thank you so much for watching and take care